Hey, I thought I'd do a review. This is on my Pacific Buoy by Silver Stag. Um, and I actually have the box for this thing. I've had this for 23 years. Um, I bought it in 2001 uh, to go on an elk trip. And uh, I did shoot an elk that year and uh, cleaned the whole thing with it. The blade never got dull, quartered it, skinned it, everything. Um, I engraved my name on it here, just in case, you know, I lost it. Hopefully I can get it back. I just never wanted to lose it. Um, I've built shelters with this thing. I've built lean-tos, you know, when snow's coming down in the Rocky Mountains and you build a lean-to, you know, just to keep yourself out of the snow, not actually to stay out overnight. Um, it's just, it's never came loose. If you could see... If you zoom in right there, see right there, there's a little pin there. And then there's another pin. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe on the other side. When it tarnishes, you can see the pins that hold the guard on. So it's not just a press fit. They actually have brass pins that go through the knife that actually hold the guard on. So that never comes loose. And then there's a big giant brass pin that goes through the uh, tang that holds it on, and then it's also probably epoxied. But uh, this uh, is an elk uh, shed handle, very comfortable. Um, the Rakasa is good. See, I have my finger fits right in there. So you can really choke up on this and uh, do carving if you want, you know, if you're if you're skinning out something. Uh, just, it's just a big knife. I mean, the thing's pretty big. Let me put it on my hand so you can see. Um, I wanted a big knife, though, because, you know... <laughs> You know, if you're out bear hunting and something happens to your gun, you want something else. I don't know. Everybody, like, I go bear hunting sometimes, and my guy, guys that go with, they'll make fun of me because I have this big honking knife. But you know what? It makes me feel better. So, <laughs> but uh, it holds a great edge. Uh, it's hard. Once, you, if you do get it dull, it's hard to put an edge on it because it's pretty hard steel. Um, and, you know, I got it nicked up. If you zoom in, you can see I got scratches on the thing. Uh, just, just different scratches on it just from using it, you know, over the years. Like I said, this I've had this thing forever. It has a nice sharp spine. So if you wanted to uh, use a ferrule rod to, to start a fire, um, these are two other things I care, always carry with me. I always carry a ferrule rod with a magnesium block, and I always carry my, uh, my um, compass. Uh, this is a Marvel USA compass made in Michigan. And uh, I always carry that. It, it works great. And actually, where I normally carry this, I snap it onto the um, onto the, the snap of the knife. Um, and you would think the metal from the blade would affect it, but when it's in the case, it doesn't. And so when I'm walking and I have it snap, I have it on there, it doesn't come off because even if you open it, it doesn't slide off. So uh, actually, I'll put it on there to show you guys. So basically... I put it on like that, and then snap it on there. I'll put the knife in there too to show you. And uh, I don't know, it works good for me. Let's see if I can get it on one handed here. All right, and I snap that shut. Okay, so you're walking, and I just kind of tilt the knife side, tilt the knife up to get you know to use the compass. And and it, that works great. It's a little brass compass. The um, it doesn't get affected by the blade, you know. And uh, it has a brass guard, probably because it's it, it's a semi stainless steel blade. I never had it rust. I always use a, um a oil on the case. So after I get done with a hunting trip, I always oil the case up, and it keeps it a softer leather, so it doesn't crack out on you, you know. So I'd like to do that with my knife cases, but um. I'll show you guys. So the elk, I so I I've cleaned a moose and an elk with this. I quartered the thing, did everything with it, it you know, and I built shelters with it. It's just a great uh, piece of working equipment, or even if you're a collector, it's just a great piece to have. Um, but like I said, I can't believe I have still have the box because I'm not like a collector. I just threw it in where I keep all my gun boxes. And I pulled it out. I thought I'd do a review on this knife. But um, this is the, let's see. This is the elk that I shot. 
uh, that this knife cleaned. And then uh, this bear, this knife actually gut, um, I never, you, you know, not only gutted this, I gutted it with this, but I skinned it out with a different knife. But then once I skinned it out, I quartered all the meat off and removed all the meat with this knife. So uh, like the skin, uh, skin it, you could do it with this. You know, you just got to kind of choke it up. And as you pull the skin, you you do it. But um, this is a great knife. Uh, that bear down there, I, I cleaned with this knife. Um, that mule deer, I've cleaned with this knife. That antelope I've cleaned with this knife. So, uh, anyways, <laughs> I've like I said, I've had it for 23 years, so I've cleaned a ton of animals, um, several deer, all the every one of these deer I've cleaned with this with this knife. But, uh, anyways, if you want a knife that'll pretty pretty much last you a lifetime, it does have a lifetime warranty from the manufacturer. I still got the warranty card in here, Silver Stag lifetime warranty, you know, and uh, but like I said, it. All the abuse I've put it, because I never treated it good, <laughs> you know, I, but I just wanted a cool looking knife when I bought it. You know, I was younger and, uh, you know, I, I have nice equipment, uh, you know, and I just thought, man, that'd be cool to have a elk handle knife. And uh, I just think it's a great knife. And uh, if anybody's looking for just an awesome knife. Uh, and you want to get something more traditional, but still be able to have a big blade that's useful, uh, I would buy Silver Stag in a minute. Anyways, I'm just signing off. That's the baby right there.